two puffs to be inhaled four times a day when required. I was gonna start this clip by saying long time no speak, but I actually have two vlogs that I need to edit that I've already filmed um, and need to edit. Um, so because those haven't gone up yet, I mean by the time you watch this video they'll have gone up, but as I'm filming this, because those haven't gone up yet, they'll actually all be uploaded pretty close together so it's not actually going to feel like a long time no speak. I have mentioned in the vlogs that I am really getting into the habit of vlogging, I'm really enjoying vlogging and that's the kind of content that I enjoy making at the moment so that's kind of what a lot of my content is. But I've actually taken about two or three weeks off of vlogging. I haven't technically taken any time off. The reason for that is I haven't been 100% in good health lately and that's kind of what I'm coming back with in this vlog. It could be something nothing because as I'm filming this I don't have a definite answer yet. So I'm just going to kind of explain to you where I'm at and kind of explain to you what's happened leading up to this point and then we'll continue the vlog from here. In the middle of July I started with a cough. Just for reference as I'm recording this clip um, it's the 28th of August so that was over a month ago, it was about four weeks ago. Um, at first didn't think anything of it, you know, you get a cough for all types of reasons, literally just for having a cough. Um, so didn't think anything of it. I still have that same cough and it's been four weeks. So I'm going to give you a bit of backstory because it will kind of explain a bit better why what I've been doing recently has happened. So between October and December that's just gone, so about six months ago, just over six months ago, I had a chest infection and at the time I couldn't get a doctor's appointment so I went to the chemist he gave me something for what he thought was a chest infection cut to middle of July when I got a cough again and I thought oh I've got another chest infection which is my second one in roughly six or seven months which is quite close together to get a chest infection that meant that when I got the cough this time round, I thought they're gonna say the exact same thing to me as they did last time so I kind of waited this cough out and I took like over-the-counter stuff, you know, like throat soothers and things like that. Last week, it was last Tuesday, so that would have been the 23rd of August, I decided to ring the doctors because at that point I'd had the cough for three weeks. I rung the doctors and I said, I explained to them everything, including that I'd had a chest infection at Christmas. A nurse practitioner rung me back and basically ran over all the information that I'd given and she asked me a, a few questions. In the three weeks that I'd had the cough, I'd taken three COVID tests, one each week, to see, oh, it might not have been before, but it might be now. All of them came back negative. She said there were three options, but one of them she was like pretty certain it wasn't that. One of the things that was throwing her off about this cough is when I get in bed on the night, I don't feel the need to cough. In general, I don't feel the need to cough when I'm in bed. It's more so when I'm going about my day. The second option, which is the one that we're kind of currently going with, is that I could potentially have asthma, um, which you can develop as an adult. My mum developed asthma when she was 32, which is why I have this. Um, so she gave me this at my appointment on Tuesday and I've only got to use it until this coming Tuesday when I've got to go back and she's going to check see if the inhaler is working. Now obviously I haven't been to that appointment, I will continue to vlog as we go forward but um, I personally don't think the inhaler is working, I still have my cough. If the inhaler was working the cough would kind of die down I guess. Something that has happened um, in this week between my doctor's appointments is my voice has been kind of clinging on. Um, I haven't lost my voice, but Thursday and Friday it was, um, it, you could tell it was clinging on because 
when I was talking it was a bit high pitched and stuff. Just wanted to give you an update uh, at the beginning of this vlog. I'm gonna keep vlogging as um, we go forward. The daily vlogs are to show you what's been going on in my life and um, this is what's been going on lately. It has baffled literally anyone and everyone. Please excuse the lighting in this clip. Um, it's currently 20 to 10 on Wednesday evening. But I just wanted to come on and quickly talk to you about my follow-up appointment because that was yesterday on Tuesday, um, which I believe I mentioned when I was speaking to you at the beginning of this vlog that I had a follow-up appointment uh, booked in for the Tuesday to talk about the inhaler that I'd been put on and whether we thought it was working or making any difference. So um, we were kind of back at square one with you know what potentially could it be and what are we gonna do going forward he said the best thing we could do was for me to probably have some blood taken because whilst i've had this cough obviously i haven't seen anyone for it until recently so she was like um we haven't taken any bloods so let's try that and she took some blood um i she did so well with it. I literally don't even have, I have a tiny little spot. My blood tests came back clear. <laughs> they came back completely normal. But we have a new thing that we're trying. She gave me some reflux tablets. Also probably should have mentioned this like at the beginning of the vlog, but obviously I'm just speaking from my own experience. Um, if you think you have something similar or you're experiencing something similar, please speak to a professional and a doctor and things. I do not have anything to contribute to this vlog today, but I just wanted to show you that I've put some makeup on for the first time in a long time. At least six months, I would argue. Is my makeup out of date? Potentially. Am I going to break out from it? Potentially, we'll find out, but... Yeah, I just put a little bit of makeup on today because I tinted my eyebrows and my eyebrows always look a bit extreme to begin with because I tint them black, as you can probably tell. Um, so I was like, hmm, I feel like putting a bit of makeup on so that's what I'm going to do. But that's going to be it for this clip because I literally have nothing else to contribute. <laughs> I am officially on to taking one a day of my reflux tablets. Um, I've gone past the five days of taking two but even more importantly today is my birthday <laughs> it's the 6th of september today um and it's my 26th birthday i didn't want my birthday to pass and not kind of mention it in a vlog even though i don't really know how much i'll show or film um i'm not really doing anything i'm just having the kids over for some party food and stuff even though this vlog so far has been about my cough <laughs> um same as i said i didn't want um my birthday to pass with no mention got some cards here so let's open them the whole reason that i'm actually like doing something today is because even though it's only like a bit of something is because when Taylor found out that it was my birthday she was convinced I was having a birthday party also I wrote a tweet um, yesterday I think it was saying that something I miss from like parties I used to go to when I was younger is party bags I don't think that party bags are really a thing anymore like when you go to someone's like party I don't think many people really give party bags I'm gonna get ready now anyway I'm gonna go and get in the shower and I'm gonna get ready and then I guess we'll just see what what I film I look a bit like an egg because I've decided to tie my hair up and I really like the like slick back look but in like pictures and videos it obviously looks a little bit strange but in person, because you can obviously see that I've got a bun in, it doesn't look a stretch. So just bear that in mind. But this is how I've decided to do my makeup today. I went for quite like a dark eyeshadow, like a brown. But yeah, as I just said, um, my hair and makeup is all done. I wanted to get it out of the way 
before I started doing anything. I've got to go to my mum's now to get my birthday cards. And then after that, I am going to come back, start getting some stuff ready. Then I'm going to go and get Katie. Then I'm going to come back and finish getting the stuff ready. And then by the time I've done that, people will probably be arriving. Actually, before I go to my mum's, um, let me show you what I bought. Um yesterday so i wrote a tweet yesterday about how when i was younger every party you went to had party bags but you don't really get party bags anymore you don't really get people doing that kind of thing but i was like i'm gonna try and find some party bags and i'm gonna make some party bags because i just think it'd be funny and also the kids who are coming i don't think i've ever been to a party that has a party bag so it'd be nice for them as well and i was in the card shop looking for party bags and I found some and I was like, oh, do I want the pink ones? Do I want the green ones? Because green is my favourite colour. But then my mature 26 year old self decided to go for the ones with dinosaurs on them. But look at how nice these party bags are. They're like paper ones. When I was younger, they used to be the like plastic ones. I imagine this is for recycling purposes. But I would be tempted to keep this bag. Like, it's so nice. They had a bunch of different ones. But yeah, I saw the dinosaurs and I was like, I've got to have the dinosaur ones. Got to have the dinosaur ones. And I've got a few little treats, like little sweets and stuff to go in the party bags. So I'll be making those later. But yes, I'm going to go to my mum's now, get my cards, and then I'm going to come back and start getting everything ready. So I just got back from my mum's house and I'm going to start and get a few things ready now um, and just kind of lay them out on the table and then in about 15 minutes I'm going to meet Katie um, and she's coming here um, ready for everything but I just wanted to show you these um, that my mum got me. <laughs> my mum knows I appreciate the, not little gestures because that sounds like it's not important but the things where it's like, if I was doing it myself, it would seem like a small thing. It would be like a minor detail. But when someone else does it for you, it really means a lot. She got me these balloons. Let me stand back and then you can see them. How cute are they? Two rose gold love hearts. And then these two are the same. They say happy birthday to you. So thank you mum for uh, my balloons. I don't think she watches my videos, but thank you mum for my balloons. Now I'm gonna start getting things ready, start putting them out on the table and everything. Um, I've got a couple of hours, so it's kind of better that way. I don't have to rush. I also think I need to touch up this lip color before people come, but I also need to get changed before people come anyway, so. So I've gone and got Katie. And I'm going to get a reaction to the thing that I was talking about in the vlog earlier. So I bought some party bags, right, to I make. I to you about. But I want your reaction to the ones that I picked. So close your eyes and I'll put them in your hand and then. <laughs> I could have gone with plain pink, plain green, all my favourite colours. But I chose these ones. Perfect. Yeah, you can offer them. <laughs> Like why do people think all oh, the girls do pink like bags? I saw them and I was like, I'm getting the fucking dinosaur bags. Like, it's a marriage. Well, you're 26 now, I'm 25 now. Like dinosaurs. It's, it's either space or dinosaurs. Yeah. As soon as I saw them, I was like, I don't know if I can swear that much in your videos, but <laughs> yeah. So we're having party I'm bags. I'm jealous. I'm gonna take one even if I don't put all in it. Yeah, you can have a party bag. <laughs> and now I'm all birthday ready in my more nice looking top i stood here to do a clip for i believe it was the last vlog um and the lighting was really good and the framing was really good so i'm gonna stand here to end this vlog that you've just watched i just wanted to catch us up with where we're at because we are slowly approaching october and i think I might do vlogtober again this year. I believe what I'm gonna do if I do do vlogtober is I'm gonna just vlog every day 
um, and every day that there is something to vlog and then I'm going to upload it as and when I've got enough footage. So some days there might be one day and then other days there might be days paired together, kind of like what I've done before. None of my previous Vlogtobers are available to watch on my channel anymore, I don't think. Say hi to the people, Jinge. They haven't seen you in such a long time. He's a bit grumpy because he's just woke up. <laughs> this camera battery is flashing at me, so I'm gonna end this vlog here. Like I mentioned, I just wanted to catch us up with the vlogs and the vlog footage because we are approaching Vlogtober and I'm 99% sure that I'm gonna be doing it. So I didn't want these vlogs to go unedited and us kind of roll off into October and then the vlogs be completely pointless because the past three vlogs that I filmed and needed to edit um, had some decent stuff in like the safari drive and things like that so yes I wanted to get us caught up and now we are completely caught up I've edited all of the vlog footage that I had yes I'm gonna end this vlog here I really hope that you enjoyed it I believe it started on kind of like a downer um, with me talking about not feeling great but it had the birthday footage in it so hopefully that gave us something else to watch but thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you again in the next one because there might be one more before vlogtober <laughs>